Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of September 3rd. No, well, you can say whatever you want, but it's September 7th to the 13th. September 7th to the 13th. Let's just see what we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My nose is itching. You know, there's an old saying, when your nose itches, you're going to kiss a fool. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Um, maybe you kissed somebody one time, and all you got was one kiss, you know, and you need to kiss them again. I don't know where that's coming from. I'm sorry. Let's start right here. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo for September 7th through the 13th? I'm not going to take those. There's too many. And we're going to get the, We're going to only get one. So what do we have for Virgo? September 7th through the 13th. One card, please. Just one. Just one. Walking away. Interesting, because as I was shuffling, I was seeing the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is uh, deep sorrow. It is sadness. It's a loss. It's grieving. Focusing, you know, somebody walking away from the past. So you are completely turning your back on the past now, right? You're walking away from something. One last look. Goodbye. See ya. So uh, you guys are, you're, you're walking away. It looks like you're happy about it. You're ready. You're ready for your new life, right? You're closing that chapter. It's time for closure. It's time for you to move on. You're ready to move on. You're ready to focus on the future. Looks like you've got a beautiful future ahead. You may also be dealing with somebody that's walking away from something. This can always go vice versa. But walking away is a main theme of this reading. Keep going. Keep going. Don't look back. You are walking into something beautiful. Beautiful. This is like walking into a, to a sunset. But you can't keep looking back. What do we have for Virgo? Balance. So here we have well, this it looks like I mean it, it's got all the elements of the justice. I mean the um, uh, magician card. But this is the justice card, right? So this is about karma. It's about justice. It's about getting what you deserve. I feel like you're getting something that you asked for. This is, you know, some you know, justice is a card of a contract as well. So this is about bringing balance back to your life. This is everything turning out as it should. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with some legal issues this, this week or something like you could be but if you are it's going to turn out in your favor um this is no toleration for lies you may have been somebody's been lying and there's really no toleration for lies i feel like you're taking action this week somebody could you maybe you caught somebody in a lie all right um can't get away with it somebody can't get away with it it's time to go you have to you have to do what's right for you you have to do the right thing you need balance and truth and justice in your life so you are going to be getting something you that you deserved but like i said this reminds me of the magician card it really does look like the magician card okay so the magician takes action to bring success it lets go of the old to bring in the new this is a doer somebody that takes action 
and and uh, you know I feel like there's a soulmate connection as well I think that you have a soulmate connection with somebody but perhaps you had to walk away or that other person did they had to walk away from the wrong one to connect with the right one whatever that means to you I feel like um, you are in charge I think that you are highly aware and you have a golden opportunity this week you have a golden opportunity, but you have to take action. And you can't keep looking back. You can't look back at whoever it is that lied to you. Because somebody, or there's been some sort of lies. And you need to walk away from the lies. You need to be honest with yourself. So I feel like that is what this week is about. So what are we... Mm, younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. So somebody's been having a relationship with a younger woman. Maybe it's your partner. I don't know. Um, you could also, so for some of you, you guys could be walking away from a younger woman. There's some sort of younger woman here. I don't know how it resonates with you, but I'm sure that you do. There's a younger woman involved here. That is probably an issue. So what do we have for, oh, there we go, boom, <clears throat> new home, new attitude. So yes, somebody's changing homes, moving out of the home, uh, moving into a home, something to do with a, with a change in the home. So there's going to be a, a change in circumstances this month. Um, I do feel as though you are turning your back on something to find balance you're ready you're ready to get what you deserve I don't think it's an easy de decision but it's time I feel like it's really really time you're ready for your new life so what do we have for Virgo saying goodbye doing the right thing you got a new attitude. You may be planning to move into a new home or you're, somebody's gotten kicked out or something like that. The moon reverse. The secret has been revealed. Whoever you're dealing with, at least one of the people that you're dealing with, has been very secretive. This person uh, has been hiding the truth. This is a reality check. You may be giving somebody a reality check. This is a release of fear. You could be dealing with somebody that had a mental imbalance, that had a lot of addictions, and maybe you were being self-deceptive. They were deceiving you and you were ignoring it. I feel as though you're going to be moving forward this week. This is your energy. The overall connection is an imbalance. There's inequality in a relationship that you are walking away from. You are walking away from somebody that you just, it's not working out or didn't work out with. Or they, they are, could go the other way. This is a misalignment. This is lacking balance, lacking organization. Too many balls in the air. No contingency plan. This is a mess. It's a mess. And I feel like there's been a lot of secrets, a lot of things that have been hidden. Maybe there was another woman that was hidden. I don't know. Or you were, if you are a masculine watching this, you could be dealing with a younger woman who is, has addictions. I mean, wisdom comes with age. And that's not just a saying. That's a fact. So, and I feel like that needed to be said. A lot of you have grown wiser. You're no longer, if, if you're the woman watching this, you're no longer that stupid young woman if you're an older woman. No offense to you young women watching this. Wisdom comes with age. Young women, you take a look at her face. Okay, they're the, the young women are the ones that make those pictures with the stupid lips. You don't see older women doing that shit. I mean, I'm just giving you an example. You, you grow gracefully with age. Anyhow, I don't know where that's coming from. Some of you are dealing with a younger woman, whether it's you 
or you were, you know, at that point you were there and you made some stupid decisions. I don't know what is going on here, but this is a release of fear, a reality check for your person. Somebody is getting a reality check. You, this is your energy. You are communicating. You're going to be communicating with somebody and moving forward because you're sick of this imbalance. You're sick of being overwhelmed. You're sick of overextending yourself. You're sick of, sick of being in this mess. And maybe it's a, been a financial disaster of some sort. So anyway, let's get the rest of the cards. Your person is totally not prepared. They are not prepared for this reality check. So, so beware of that. Okay, they're not prepared. I feel like you're not on the same page with whoever this person is that you are walking away from. I feel like there's a lack of harmony. There's a lack of desire. There's a lack of energy. It's There's a need to refocus. I feel like um, you've been wasting your time. You've been making delays. You've been not seeing. And they weren't seeing either. They were Whoever you were dealing with was thinking that they could fool you. They were thinking that you were easy to deceive and they could see that you were scared. They know that you were scared to lose them. They, they knew, they knew that. So they could deceive you. Maybe, maybe, maybe some, I mean, the young, the, when you're young, you're immature. You just don't know any better. So, and, and maybe, you know, whoever you were with, you know, didn't care. Because when you're young, you just don't care. So anyway, we have a lack of foresight here. Whoever you are dealing with, were dealing with, that you're walking away from, uh, probably had you in a third party or vice versa. Uh, there's definitely deception here. There's lies. Um, these lies are, are going to come out or you found out about them now. Um, I feel as though, let me get the rest of the cards. You are definitely have your guard up. I feel like you have your guard up. You may feel like you, maybe you feel like you're not financially stable. I think there's a blockage in the way of you being successful, of you reaching your goals. And maybe it's not having enough money or not feeling stable or not taking initiative. There's something blocking you from success. You have, you're, you're probably going to be communicating with somebody this week or wanting to communicate with somebody this week in which, you know, you may want to move forward with this person, but you may have some self doubts or you may haven't planned sufficiently or, or something like that. You may have become lazy and complacent and you've lacked follow through. Maybe that's something you need to change. I feel like the connection that you are in, that you are walking away from is not really a connection. I feel Feel like it's a disconnection I think there's disharmony here and you've been wasting your time and I think that you're wanting to let it go and but it's not easy for some reason because perhaps there's just not enough there, there's money issues you're worried about money something like that or you're worried that this person is gonna freak out um, there is definitely some financial issues here financial problems I feel like whoever you're dealing with lacks respect for others. I feel like they don't work well with others. They don't communicate well. And they probably, there is a third party here. There is a third party. I feel like whoever you're dealing with um, can get angry really easy. And maybe you're, maybe you're afraid that if you walk away, you know, that could, that could cause some sort of fight. Um, I feel like they are going to be caught off guard. I think you're going to catch them off guard. I think they will be upset. I feel like they're about to get some bad news from you. I feel like uh, they may have been psychologically abusing you in some way. And maybe you didn't even know it. Maybe you didn't see it. But once you break free, you're going to feel so much relief. I think that you are breaking free from something. This is freedom. And this is your lineup, okay? This is leaving it all behind. Goodbye. See ya. 
this is a fresh start. This is starting from scratch. This is, I'm, I'm done. I don't want any of it. You keep it. Goodbye. Okay. So this is starting, this is taking a risk, acting on impulse, uh, freedom, freedom, freedom from abuse of some sort. And abuse can be designed or not designed. It, the, it can be said to be neglect. Okay. Abuse comes in many, many forms. Um, you you are about to give somebody a reality check that has been not treating you very well. I feel like this person has been deceiving you. I feel like uh, there's a third party situation here. They thought they could pull the wool over your eyes. I think that maybe uh, you uh, ignored it for quite some time, but I think that you know, you're about to give them some really, really bad news and set them straight. I feel like, uh, I feel like you're moving. I feel like you're moving. You're moving forward. I feel like you're, you're letting them go and you're leaving them behind. I feel like you are ready. You are ready to take a risk and you will be taking a risk. You're going to be starting fresh. Somebody here watching this reading may be thinking about moving. Okay, they may be uh, communicating with somebody that is at a distance, you know, and they're traveling to that person. I feel like there's definitely moving here. Somebody's going to be moving. I feel like um, you are going to be expecting trouble. I think that once you decide to take this risk, you're going to expect this person to react. And that's what you're expecting, right? You're going to expect this person to re react. Whoever you're dealing with um, has a chip on their shoulder. Um, I feel like they are very disagreeable. They have a lot of pride. And you are probably going to be watching your back. It's You know, it's like, oh, you don't know what they're going to do because they may have some mental health problems, you know, and you're afraid they're going to flip out. I feel like uh, they're, you're going to be splitting. There's a split here. There's a, there is a separation with that two of cups. That is a separation. That is a split. It's not easy. It's, it's This is a partnership. Both of these cards splitting up because of a third party. There is a third party here. Another person. But, but, there is, this is all happening for a reason because you need to find balance. This is a very unbalanced relationship. There's addictions. There's codependency, there's secrets, and I think that there's, there's, there's denial. There is denial. And I think that you're going to be letting this, this whole thing go because you're ready for that new life. So I think this is the week where you, uh, it's almost like you take it in your own hands. You take it in your own hands and you're ready. You are just absolutely ready. You're ready for that new life. So I feel like this week, uh, <laughs> It may be a little chaotic. It may be a little chaotic. It may be a little stressful because I think you've reached the point where you are just fed up. You're fed up and I feel like you're going to be disconnecting from this individual who really has nothing to offer you. Because, you know, when somebody is playing with somebody else, you know, there's, there's, there's really a disconnection here. So I feel as though you are going to be walking away and stepping into your power. I feel like you are going to be taking action. Uh, you're going to be taking action to bring balance to your life. The balance that has been missing for so long. Um, there is some sort of new home or new attitude involved. I think you've wasted quite a bit of time, and I think there's some regrets here. I think that you are have uh, have gotten to a point where you are so overwhelmed that that you just you got to go. You have to break free from this. It has held you down. It's brought you to your knees, and it's like you know I can't do this anymore. I can't live like this anymore. So Virgo, you do have a new beginning here. Okay, this is a new life. The fool card is it's a new beginning it's freedom it's freedom from something that is very unhealthy i mean the page of swords reverse is an enemy this is somebody who plays mind games with you and they've been getting away with it because you've been allowing it you have been allowing it i think you're going to be giving this person some bad news 
okay they're about to get some bad news because I don't think you're gonna be playing with them anymore I see you packing your bags or you kicking them out or whatever the case is this is leaving it all behind you're gonna be stepping into uncharted territory this week facing your fears that's a big move and I do think it is a week of big moves for you um, I think it's been a nightmare. You've been in some situation that turned out to be totally not what you thought it was going to be. So one card for Virgo. I do feel like you have somebody new here though. And I don't really, you know, it just feels like there's somebody else waiting for you. And I do feel like you're going to be communicating with that person. One card for Virgo, please. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And that's, I do feel like you're going to be flirting with somebody new. Okay? Uh, this may be somebody from your past that you, uh, and I, I don't, you know, it, I don't know, it's interesting. I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't have any past cards here. Um, I feel like it's somebody that you may have rejected or they rejected you or because you were with this other person. I do see you uh, going after what you deserve and getting what you deserve. And it's been the magician. And I know that's a justice card, but because it reminds me of the magician so much, the magician sheds the old to bring in the new. It's almost like it's simu simultaneous. So Virgo, uh, I think that it is a good week for you because I feel like you are walking away from something that uh, was extremely challenging for you. There was there was a lack of imbalance, like you would not believe. It was just. Uh, A whole lot of denial here. A whole lot of denial. Lack of respect. You're walking away from an argumentative person that doesn't respect you. And it looks like you're, I think you're walking right into freaking freedom and happiness and joy. I don't know why I feel that way so strongly, but it feels like you're walking right into... A new life. Good luck. And it's beautiful. 